the popping of corks and the pouring of bubbles are most famously linked with champagne, the exclusive and often expensive drink from France. But what's being served here is from far closer to home. Events like this aim to promote Indian-made sparkling wine to the country's growing middle class. It's being billed as upmarket but affordable, and there certainly seems to be a thirst for it. Shandon launched here about two years ago and is one of half a dozen brands now available on the market. A bottle in the shops will cost you just under $20, a quarter of the price of an imported champagne. And while made locally, its owner is Moet Hennessy, the French luxury drinks brand with an eye on emerging economies. So why India? Well, first, before everything, India is, is a great market where fine wine and spirits are being consumed. It's the number two market in the world for whiskey. There's clearly a, a base of consumer who wants the, the great champagne of the world, the Veuve Clicquot, the Moët et Chandon, the Ruinard and the Krug. And there's new generations, new uh, comers, uh, young individuals that have studied abroad and having um, improvement in their incomes that want to enjoy fine luxury uh, Indian made products. Almost all of India's wine industry is based in Nasik, about 175 kilometers from Mumbai. These grapes are being picked for the country's biggest winemaker, Sula. But when it comes to making sparkling wine, it's having to adapt to the geographic and economic realities. When we started, we were looking for the classic champagne varieties, but uh, Indian climate is completely different and it's uh, difficult to grow, you know, Chardonnay and eat especially Pinot Noir. So it was difficult to make it like champagne. We have also tried to make the wine in a much fresher style rather than aging it because right now we are a very young company. We cannot afford to keep the bot uh, bottles for a very, very long time. Sparkling wine has become one of Sula's best money spinners. It already sells hundreds of thousands of bottles each year. And if more Indians try a drink traditionally used for celebration, That'll be a cause to celebrate here too. Simon Atkinson, BBC News, Maharashtra.